would be nice if this vehicle would be electric. Just a nice small compact car, electric drivetrain, 280 kilometer range. That's all it needs and not more than 25,000 of course. Oh guys, um, by the way, welcome back to another episode, to the third episode of this day. <sighs> what a day, what a day. So, appointment number three for today. So car is fully charged now, which is awesome. That's why I moved these appointments so far apart from each other. It's just so you, I can um, actually recharge because they're all in this area here. Uh, start live data. Let's see what we got. 100%. That's awesome. Still 73. <laughs> Won't go up anymore. 32, 35, so our battery is already nice and warm, which is good. I think a dog. A dog. Yeah, from what someone told me um, on one of my videos, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, he said something in Canada. He's got a new 2019 model and to open the gate. So he's got a 2019 model and the battery stays warm. Um, no, so he's got a 2019 model and the outside temperature is a, so eight degrees outside temperature and the battery is warm between 30 and 32 degrees because the 2019 model has the battery warmer, as I explained earlier. And it looks like it keeps the battery at around 30 degrees, which is which is um, higher than I was expecting actually. I thought it keeps it maybe at 25 or so, but above 30 is fairly fairly warm. But I think this is the the sweet spot of the battery where it works the best. So between 30 and 35 degrees. So it has maximum capacity and maximum capability of taking and giving energy. So quite interesting to hear from these people or from, from any one of you, if you have a 2019 model, can you please report on your battery temperature if you have the PHE watchdog. Um, I would be or we would be interested to hear your story and what outside temperatures you have and how you treat the car and how you drive it. The battery temperature would be highly appreciated. Thank you. We've got uh, 1 p.m. and 32 degrees outside. We reached maximum outside temperature. Well, and this is actually a, a nice fun drive now because it's only six kilometers to the destination and I don't need to worry about anything. I've got a full battery. I've got the air condition on 23.5. It's nice and cool in here and I can just drive the car so I'm really looking forward to a car with a larger battery and you don't need to worry about any EV range or range anxiety anymore I mean yeah I know people would say now look you've got a hybrid you don't need to worry about battery range anyway you just drive on, on petrol which is kind of right but um, I think when you drive the PHEV, you will change your driving style a lot. You will drive a lot more careful. You will drive more efficient. And you're trying to squeeze every kilometer out of the EV, out of the battery. And this totally makes sense. Because this is the purpose of the car. You drive electric as far as most as possible, as far as possible and try to avoid the petrol engine so you adapt your driving style somehow and I'm, I'm not under convinced about what i'm doing now here uh, because they want me to shut down their server and do some repair on it while they have lunch i said look if the server doesn't come back anymore i have sh we, we have to shut down the whole situation here because there's no one else no one else can work on this computer anymore then so um i would rather have done this work after business hours but they said it's fairly urgent so i'll um, try my best wish me luck
all right guys it has worked it has really worked <laughs> service up and running oh what's that keyhole in the middle of the door well feature service up and running seems to be stable took half an hour so now we're going back home i just want to check on the temporary uh, battery temperature temporary battery uh, 32 and 35 I think, yeah, the cooling is already on when I turned on the car. So, yeah, we are cooling it down. These public car parks here. Quarter to two now, and I've got another hour time before I have my fourth appointment. Yeah, so back to the battery temperature, actually. I don't know, some people say you have to wait uh, when you come home and let the cool, let, let the battery cool down. I was under the impression as well, you have to do this. It's better for the battery and it's cold. But apparently it's, it doesn't make a big difference at 30, 35 degrees at all. The battery cooling in all our PHEVs is kicking in at 35 degrees. So 35 degrees, hottest module in the battery, and the cooling will the cooling will kick in, including air condition and fan to cool the battery down. So 35 seems to be fine for the car. So I've got no hesitation to plug in the car if the battery is over 30 degrees Celsius at all. I don't I don't think it's a problem I've mentioned this before Tesla actually supercharges until 45 degrees the cooling is in full swing of course then but um, they they charge the battery even if it's 45 degrees already supercharge them with them um, hundred up to 150 kilowatt so um, obviously the battery temperature I don't know exactly what is critical for lithium-ion batteries it it seemed like from what I read it seemed like it's highly depending on what kind of chemistry and what um, electrolyte and what anodes they are using and as you, as you know we can't find any specs for the LEV 50 cells we have in the PHEV here and only the LEV 50 N which none of our cars have they come with the specs but this is a different chemistry a little bit they, and they are also promoting the heat resistance for these batteries so obviously they have found a secret formula for the batteries to yeah, stay healthy even when they are 50 degrees hot wow so anyway the 2019 PHEV seems to keep the battery nice and warm between 30 and 35 degrees in an optimal battery temperature zone which I thought is far too high but apparently that's the optimal temperature for the battery so that's good to know back home 28 36 degrees I have to plug in again I need a fully charged car because we have to do a hyper drive for about 40 kilometers not not quite 30 40 yeah 40 kilometers highway later on in about an hour and a, I am on 73.4 percent so this means 15 amp charging so we will let the car charge on 15 amp now for an hour and then we leave yeah then we have to leave again so um, thanks for coming with me this was a short video right so it works sometimes I guess okay guys so far um, thanks for watching thanks for your support as always this is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off for an hour and then we will see us in video number four of this day and then um, yeah this day is over okay guys see you soon then thanks bye bye